whenever you sell a laptop or a desktop or any kind of computer that you might have had important information on, it's always a good idea to securely wipe your entire hard drive. So in this video, I'm going to actually show you how to securely wipe a hard drive. In this case, it's my laptop. Now, recently I sold this laptop and I'm getting it ready to send out to its new owner. And what I want to do is I want to securely wipe the hard drive. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this piece off of the laptop here and I'm going to expose the inner workings of the machine here and pull out the hard drive and I'm going to show you how you can use software to actually wipe it clean. So I'm just going to undo these screws here. Okay, that should do it. Let's pull this up from the side here and pop this off. Make sure you don't lose any of your screws. And there we go, the inner workings of the machine. Now, this is my RAM here, but I don't want to touch that. Really what I want to concern myself with is the hard drive right here. Now, as always, before you touch any component in a machine, make sure you're grounded. You don't want to short anything out on the machine. So basically, touch something metal that's grounded just to discharge any static electricity you might have on you. Now, right here is the hard drive, and it's in a caddy, and what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to remove two screws here to let it loose. Now always make sure, number one, that you don't lose any of these screws, and number two, that you put them back where you found them. Alright, the screws are removed, and in my case here, I'm just going to pull this tab, and it slides in, so I'm just going to slide it back this way. That disengaged the contacts over here, and then I'm just going to pull the hard drive up. Now that's my hard drive that's in this machine here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to loosen or take these screws out. There are four screws, two on each side. And I'm going to release the hard drive. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this hard drive, this internal hard drive, and put it in a caddy that I have so I can use it as an external hard drive. So I've removed all the screws and there we go, that's the hard drive right there. Now this is my external hard drive enclosure, it's appeared in a couple of my other videos. I picked it up off of eBay for probably less than $10, I don't remember the exact amount, but it was, it was not expensive, it was definitely inexpensive. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this drive into this external hard drive enclosure here and I'm going to use this and attach it to another one of my computers to wipe the drive. So what I'm just going to do here is I'm going to open this up and expose the innards here. And I'm going to take both sides off of this and there's four screws in here that are going to attach into the drive itself. So I'm going to take my drive and I'm going to match up my contacts. So this is the contact point here on the external enclosure here and here are my contacts on the hard drive here. So I'm just going to match that up and slide it in. There we go. Now I'm going to secure it down with the screws. Now because this is just going to be a temporary situation you might not necessarily have to put the screws in but it's just an extra step and it makes sure that everything is very stable in here and there's not going to be any rattling so there's not going to be any damage to the hard drive. So it's better to be safe than sorry so I'm just going to put the screws in like I said. It takes an extra minute, not a big deal. Okay, so all the screws are in, and I'm just going to replace these panels here, just to close it all in. And 
And there you go. I have an external hard drive now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run this up to my older computer I have up in my attic. And I'm going to plug it in there and I'm going to run some software on this. And why don't we go up there and I'll show you that right now. Okay, now I'm up here in my attic on my older PC up here. And I have my external hard drive attached to a USB cord. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach that USB cord onto the computer here. I'm going to plug it in. And the light is running now. I'm just going to set that down. Now, as you can see, I have a external hard drive attached on the computer and it recognizes it as such. But I'm going to X out of that because I don't want to do anything with that. And what I want to do is I want to run a program. Now, the program I'm going to use here is called Active at Kill Disk for Windows. Now, Active at Kill Disk for Windows can be downloaded from download.com or download.cnet.com. I usually do all my downloads from there because you know that it's going to be spyware free. So I already have this program installed on my machine and I'm going to click on it right here. Program needs my permission to continue. Of course, I'm going to continue here. Okay, now what you see here on the left hand side of the screen here are all the drives attached to the computer. Now obviously I have a local C drive here which is my system drive. I don't want to touch that. I just want to go down here where it says hard disk 5 Hitachi. That's the one I just removed out of my laptop and I want to click the checkbox here. Now this is going to select everything on here. There's a couple of partitions on here. Basically I just want to wipe the entire thing and I'm going to reinstall Windows 7 from my recovery disks that came with the computer, actually that I made when I got the computer for the first time. So I want to kill or wipe everything off of this disk. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here to kill. It's an actual option here that says kill. Now it says here to erase and it lists hard drive 5, the Hitachi drive that I have selected here. And you have a couple of options. You can erase with one pass and it passes and it puts zeros. Uh, if you know anything about anything digital, it's all ones and zeros. So it just goes one pass and puts a zero on everything to wipe your drive. Uh, if you want, you could do more than one pass. Uh, if you want to do more than one pass, you have to use the pro version that you have to purchase. I'm just gonna do one pass here. And uh, you can select a couple of options here to ignore the errors. Clear log file before start, initialize device after kill, or skip confirmation. I'm just going to leave everything at default, which has ignore errors. I'm going to click start here. And this is just a precautionary measure here to confirm your action. So basically it's an extra step to make you aware that you are going to erase all your data on your machine. So in order to do that, you actually have to type in erase all data in all caps with a hyphen between them. So let me do that right now. Data. Erase all data with a hyphen between all caps. I'm going to click on yes. And here we go. Now down here, it's going to give you your status. And it's basically, like I said, writing zeros to your entire hard drive. And it says that I have seven hours remaining on this process. If you have a USB 3.0 external hard drive, it's probably going to be a lot quicker. Or if you actually install it as an internal hard drive, it's also going to be quicker. I have this device hooked up with USB 2.0 and the drive is a 500 gigabyte hard drive. So that's why it's going to take so long to do this process. Now you could do this as many times as you want. You could do one pass or you could do seven passes. Seven passes is generally considered a very secure total wipe. So you might want to consider doing this more than once. I will probably end up wiping it four to seven times just to make sure that all of my data is eliminated off of the drive. So through the magic of editing, I'm going to skip this entire process here where I erase the drive several times and I'm going to join you back when I'm going to reinstall the disk in my laptop and install Windows 7. Okay, so I ended up wiping this on active kill disk seven times. 
So now I have to reverse the order. I'm going to pull this out of the external hard drive here. I'm going to put it back in the caddy and reinstall it in the computer just the way I took it out. After that, I'm going to reinstall Windows 7 on the machine and it'll be up and running just like it was if it was brand new. So that pretty much does it for this video. If you have any questions, comments, as always, leave them down below, post them down below. If you like what you see, please give me a thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber already and you, you know, are interested in my channel, please subscribe. And that pretty much does it. So I'll see you guys next time.